Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Mato, that is me, and Terminator. This lovely chess game was played in 2019. I had white pieces and the game started with d4. Terminator played knight to f6. Bishop to f4. Knight to c6. e3. And now d6, the old Indian defense. Maybe. Knight to f3. And now h6. Maybe intending g5. Maybe knight to h5. Should I play h3? c3 is the London system, but it doesn't look very exciting. I played c4. And now g5. Bishop to g3. g4. Terminator is hyper aggressive. This is not human style of play. Knight to h4. Knight to h5. I don't like this scenario. My London bishop is about to die. Should I click on start a new game button? No. I will continue. Knight to c3. Knight takes on g3. And bye bye the London system bishop. I captured towards the center. h5. Defending the pawn on g4. White to move. Perhaps I should castle queen's side. I need to move my queen maybe to c2, d2. I played queen to b3, keeping an eye on the b7 pawn. b6 and I castled queen's side. Black to move. Perhaps bishop to b7 was expected. Maybe bishop to g7. Bishop to h6. Why? Why not bishop to g7? What is Terminator intending? Maybe e5. Humans would not play e5 if they don't castle. So just in case, I move the king to b1. And e5, indeed. If I was black, I would never play e5 with my king in the center. Can I take an advantage of this move? If I take on e5, then knight takes on e5. I played c5, allowing black to play e takes on d4. And this is what happened. Well, I can capture the pawn with my e pawn, but I played bishop to b5, attacking the knight and connecting the rooks. Bishop to b7, e takes on d4, opening the e file for my rook. a6, I was threatening d5. Bishop takes on c6, bishop takes on c6, c takes on d6, queen takes on d6, rook from h to e1, check, king to f8. Ok, let's take the stock. Material is equal. Black has a bishop pair. White has a safer king. And I think my pieces are quite well placed. How would you continue this position if you had white pieces? Black is threatening bishop takes on g2, so I played d5. Bishop to e8, and now I was choosing between knight to e4 and knight to f5, and I don't know which one is better. But the knight on h4 is already close to the black king, so I played knight to e4, attacking the queen. Queen to e5. If I had black pieces, I would collapse quickly. White to move d6 comes to mind, also f3 and f4. I played f4, attacking the queen, g takes on f3 and passan. How would you capture, with the pawn or with the queen? I captured with the queen, threatening knight to g6, check. For example, if rook to d8, knight to g6, check, meaning the queen. So, Terminator played king to g7. Knight to f5, check. King to g6, I was expecting king to g8. King to g6 was played. How would you continue now? I played g4, intending to open the g file. h4, keeping the file closed. d6. Rook to d8, I was hoping for c takes on d6, then rook takes on d6, check. Time later played rook to d8. White to move. How would you continue? I can take the pawn on h4. 
I played rook to d5. Is this a blunder? What is defending the rook? Queen to e6. If queen takes on d5, the knight to e7 check, winning the queen. So we have a queen to e6. Knight takes on h4 check, king to g7. g5, king to f8. Here I got confused with too many choices. Should I take the bishop? Should I play g6? Should I play rook to f5? Rook to f5 is not a bad move. I played d takes on c7. Rook takes rook. Pawn is pushed and promoted to queen. Queen takes on c8. But now this is a little puzzle. How would you continue in this position if you had white pieces? Please pause and find the best move for white. I played knight to g6. Check. King to g8. If king goes to g7, then g takes on h6. Check. So king to g8 was played. And now white plays the obvious. What is the obvious? Knight to e7. Check. Forking the whole family. King to f8. Knight takes queen. Bishop takes on g5. Knight takes on g5. Rook takes on g5. And now this is a cleanup operation. Queen to f6. Forking two rooks. Bishop to b5. If rook from h to g8, then rook takes on e8. Check. And after king takes on e8, queen to e7. Check. Mate. So we have bishop to b5. And which rook would you take now? One on g5 or one on h8? I played queen takes rook on h8 check. I captured that one because it's check. Rook to g8. Queen to h6 check. Rook to g7. My rook on e5 is well placed, but the knight is not in the game. I played knight to d6. Attacking the bishop, and the bishop must defend e8 square. Bishop to d7. Why to move? If my queen was a helicopter, she would go to d8 check. But she is not a helicopter. How to get the queen there? What would you do? This is how I got the queen to d8. First move. Check. Rook to g8. Now queen to f6, threatening queen takes on f7, checkmate. Defending. And now queen to d8, check. Bishop to e8, the only move. White queen can take the bishop, but she allowed one of her minions to have some fun too. Rook takes on e8, check, mate. This is a challenge for you. See how many moves it takes you to beat Terminator. I was told that Terminator's strength is 2150. Please click on the link below the video and start smashing Terminator to pieces. I hope you will have a great fun. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.